Hello, hello, good evening, good evening, and welcome. So here we are once again. We are on our class number 11 for today, basically five classes away from the end. Um, just remember, tomorrow we are going to be having a class and also um, that is something we have to keep in mind because we are, well, supposed to be here. Now, for this evening, we're going to be closing the topic three word uh, phrasal verbs, which is um, something that we have been working on uh, on the last couple of, of classes. And uh, we are going to start working on suggestions. I know for sure that many of you guys already know um, how to give suggestions in English, how to um, offer your opinion, how to um, bring your ideas to the table when it comes necessary. So for today, that is something we're going to be practicing a lot. Um, hopefully you're ready for that. Hopefully you are going to be doing a great work on that um, area. Now, uh, I will also enjoy it very, very much, you know, to have your um, active participation, of course, at the time of the question. I think tonight's question is very important. Plus the two topics we're going to be covering this evening are relatively short. So I'm going to give a little bit of extra time to practice. Um, I'm trying to find a reading exercise that I like to use as well because we haven't done any of that with you guys. So I'm trying to get some of those um, reading exercises as they are also very important for all of us. Um, I know that it is not the most commonly practiced skill when it comes to the English skills. So I want to have a little bit of practice when it comes to reading. Because, um, yeah, you know, we practice a lot of listening. We do some speaking here, but reading is not necessarily the most focused on um, a, a skill that we have for, for our English classes. Therefore, I want to give it some time. Uh, but anyway, before we get to any of those exercises or, or activities, I want to know, the question for this evening is, as I said, relatively simple, however, very personal. I want to know what is something, anything. It can be like going to a dinner, going uh, or having a specific thing in your house, having time with a specific person, anything that makes you happy. So for this evening, that is the question. What is one thing in the world that makes you happy, something that you couldn't live without. Uh, and tonight, I want to practice something a little bit different. Um, I want you guys to be naming the next person. So if you can see the names of the, of the other participants, that would be amazing. Um, so I want you to decide who is going to be next. I'm only going to pick one person, and then the rest of the class is going to be decided by you, or the order is going to be decided by you. So you're going to be calling who you want to hear from. Um, so that's the question. What is one thing that makes you happy? And of course, if you are capable of and you feel like you want to do it, um, go ahead and provide us you know, some context. Like, why is it that that thing is so important to you? And uh, what makes you appreciate that thing so much? So the first person I'm going to um, give this space for this evening is going to be Javier. So Javier, do a start this wheel. Tell me, Javier, what is- Hello there. Thing? Hey, hello. hello there. One thing that makes me happy. Yes, one thing that makes you happy. Singing. Mm. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's one of those. Uh, I love seeing you know, you know, the, this is the, something the food. That I, the food too. Uh, but uh, usually, something that really, really, really makes me happy is when I came back to the to the work and I saw my my family when I saw my mom. This is okay. something that I don't have idea. I don't have idea if I something sometimes and I really think about it and makes me feel sad when I if I didn't have up to my mom uh, live mm -hmm. it will be something that makes me really really sad so that's this is, is something special when I saw my family and when I'm sharing time with them all right very nice yeah i mean i think that that's one you know actually 
like two days or three days ago i was i was on a trip with my brother-in-law i was i was doing like a, a shore or i mean running an errand running an errand with him and he told me something about um how some people feel you know when they are on their way home like sometimes um people get back home walking and when they do that how do they feel if they have to walk all the way from downtown area three uh, i mean sorry 13 12 or 15 blocks from downtown to their house and he was just wondering like how do these people feel you know there is no buses going that on that road and that's why it is very tricky to get to that to, to their houses es una colonia o sea que queda como a las afueras de la ciudad de Usulután entonces íbamos entrando por ahí verdad y mi cuñado se quedó viendo a una señora y me dice cómo se sentirá regresar a pie o sea desde allá entonces yo le decía o sea que yo considero que debe ser una sensación bien genial, o sea, because you're getting yeah. home, like, I mean, you're yeah. about to get to your place, you're about to get to your people, so it's like, as, as the closer you get, the better you feel, so I think it's, yeah. it's like a, like a really special feeling, and yeah, I mean, the same is for me, like, the bus leaves me, like, four blocks away from my house, and every step I take, I just feel like I just want to be home, you know. So yeah. I understand. Yeah. I totally understand. Yes, yes. I ride a motorcycle, so when I, when I getting home, when I'm when I am close to my, to my my land, mm -hmm. to my city, you feel excited. Really feel something excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very Thanks. nice. Thanks. Okay, so you pick who's next, Javier. Quién va a ser el Okay. Cine? Let me see. I have. Eh, Daniela Cruz. Okay. Daniela Cruz. Let me see where is she. Oh yeah, there he go. There she goes. Daniela de la Cruz. So Daniela, what is something that makes you happy? Mm, I have two things that make me happy, and it's my dog. Okay. And my boyfriend. <laughs> nice. Nice to wow. know. Okay. That is good. And tell me, mm. why do they make you happy? Like, what do they do that makes you feel happy? Uh, well, when I uh, come to, uh, to my home, when I come from my work, uh, my dog is waiting waiting for me mm -hmm. and it's the it's happiest than my family and i feel and i feel so comfortable to um how how i i, I don't know how i say abrazarlo uh, yeah hug H hug mm -hmm. uh, With my dog, but when I I'm with my boyfriend, I feel so comfortable. I feel relaxed. Uh, I I love to eat a lot when I with him. With him. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, that happens. That <laughs> happens to me too. All right. Yeah. You know, pets are really special. I have not a problem, but I'm not really good with pets. Like, I have to be honest. I mean, I like animals a lot, but um, I have this thing that when I want to go out, I don't want to have a need or, ha or feel guilty because I have a poor animal waiting for me at home. So, like, I like pets, but I don't like having pets. Like, personally, I don't like having pets. However, we do have a dog here in my house. And, uh, you know, at times when I see him, like, sad, it's like, I, I mean, I, I love him a lot. And when I see him sad, I feel sad myself. So, yeah, I, I totally understand how it feels, you know, that sometimes pets can, can make your heart pump in a different way than people. And that is totally understandable. And also, of course, spending time with your loved one is always cool. So nice. Very nice. Now, Daniela, who's going to be the next person on participating? Hailey, um, Michelle. Okay, Hailey. Hailey, what is something that makes you happy? 
Uh, I think uh, spend with my family, uh, for example, but movie and serial or uh, place, no, or visiting mm -hmm. new place. And, uh, I play with my dog. All right, so it, it seems like there are many things that make you happy, but I, I also will say that it's basically the same, you know, as we mentioned previously, like spending time with family is always a very, very nice experience. And I totally understand how it may feel going or visiting new places with the family. It is always, always welcome. So, very nice. All right, so Ailey, who's going to be the next person I'm participating? Jancy. Okay, Jancy. Tell us, Jancy, what is something that makes you happy? Okay, I make me happy. I feel, feel spiritually comforted knowing that God is in control of my life. My life. Yes. All right. Very, yes. very nice. Yeah, I have um, experienced this, you know, once before. Like, I'm not super 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 mega religious like i do go to church and all um but i think i am failing or lacking myself on on that aspect but i also that is something that i have experienced as i said and uh i i i think i know how it feels so that's very nice you know having that um secureness on on your inner self like you feel safe you feel like you belong in a in a nice place so very good great Thank you, Jancy. Now, tell us, okay. who's going to be the next? Uh, Patricia Herrera. Okay, Patricia. Tell us, what makes you happy, Patricia? Uh, yes. uh, well, uh, good evening, everybody. Evening. Uh, uh, in the first, uh, the first thing that made me happy or made me feel happy, mm -hmm. It's uh, spending time with my two sons. Um, in the second thing is uh, working in my in my job because I love my job. Okay. <laughs> but uh, with my sons, I I, I even enjoyed uh, all the process the science. Um, they um, they live to my life. Uh, they both are adopted, and uh, they come to feel um, a part of me of my life, mm -hmm. and uh, um, about five years, I was intended to get uh, pregnant mm -hmm. and I can't and they are mm, the reason of my life <laughs> I love them and mm, my job is uh, really important and I love it too okay very very good yeah I remember you shared that that with us or with me at least in a previous class uh, that both of your sons were yeah. adopted and I remember me asking uh like some like sections of the <clears throat> process so nice and uh you know of course people who are part of our family part of our life are always going to bring joy to us and mostly when you desire them, as I am sure you desire to have um, your sons. So that is great, 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 great. So thank mm -hmm. you, Patricia, very thank much for sharing. Who is going to be the welcome. next person on, on sharing this evening, Patricia? Mm, Alejandro Miranda. Okay, Alejandro. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I want to know it. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, actually, uh, there are several things that make me happy. For example, uh, I like to be at home and uh, watching TV or uh, reading uh, an interesting book. Mm -hmm. um, and two, I like to 
like to read uh, English books because uh, I have several books. And two, uh, when, when I have a class to, to weekend, <laughs> because, because um, in Saturday, uh, uh, I, I have money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and in the in the Sunday, and, and go to church with my wife. Okay. In the morning, yes. In the evening, uh, we 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 have a rest, and and two. Uh, one thing that make me happy is uh, when I buy a new book because I like to read. Mm -hmm. I like to read uh, and everything I, I think uh, we're, we're speaking about in the book. Okay. And two, I like, uh, I feel happy when we when, when go to, to the beach because uh, we don't go uh, very often. Uh, we go uh, um, at six months or one a year. Mm -hmm. So I feel so happy when we go out. Have the chance. Okay. And two, when we have, when I like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. so only adding that I also okay. like chicken. Okay. <laughs> All okay. right. Yeah, okay. that, I mean, makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, <laughs> reading is amazing. I mean, I, I remember back in the day when I was still a student, I used to have a lot of free time or maybe not free time, but I, I will take a lot of time to read. And I remember okay. I used to read a lot. Um, nowadays, I don't do it. And it's not that because I don't have time. It's because I think I have became, uh, become a little bit lazy. I would love to go back. And now that you were mentioning that, I was just trying to remember, you know, so many stories, so many things that I have read. And um, yeah, I think that next time I have the chance to go to a bookstore, I'm going to get a new book because I, I feel like I have, I need to go back to reading because yeah, reading is just so, so cool. Like, all the things that you can learn and all the things that you can imagine when you read fantasy or or, or sci-fi or things like that. So yes, reading is, is great. And I see your point. Also with uh, going to the beach, in my case, I wouldn't share that same opinion. I mean, I, I do enjoy going to the beach. But the thing is, that I think it's way more special for you because you mentioned that you probably go twice a year or probably just once a year. Okay. Uh, but for me, the beach is like 20 minutes away. So it's like, yeah, I mean, whenever I feel like it or whenever we feel like it, we just go to the beach, you know, my sisters and I, my family and I. So yeah, that's something like kind of common for us. But nice. Very nice. Thank you, Alejandro. Okay. Okay. Um, who is going to be the next You're person welcome. on providing their uh, perspective on this question? Um. Janet, Janet. Okay, Janet. Hi, everyone. Okay. Hello there. Hi. Um, well, uh, I have um, many things that, uh, that make me happy. Uh, one of them is uh, to spend time with my daughter uh, and to visit to my, to my mom in her, her, her house. Mm -hmm to see to all my 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 brothers and my sister my siblings mm -hmm. and but uh, uh on these times the thing that I, I i enjoy the most is to be alone okay to alone with myself and uh to do many things that i that i enjoy uh Sometimes it can be to dry, to um, dibujar. Draw, yeah, draw. Um, uh, sometimes it can be um, to sing uh, Korean music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sometimes it can be uh, simply to be the, the life 
run in front of my, my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like to be alone. Nice. Yeah. Having some alone time, according to some professionals, I'm not one of them, but I have read some of that is always important that, you know, because that brings you um, mindfulness. Mindfulness is something that we have when we can focus on who we are, what we are and the things we, we want. So I think it's very important to have some time for ourselves or for, for oneself. Um, so yeah, I, I completely share that perspective as well. So very good. Thank you very much, Janet. Um, who is going to be the next person on sharing? Um, I don't know, maybe Joaquin. Okay, Joaquin. Saben que estaba pensando ahorita, perdón, que eso, eso solo se me ocurrió, ¿verdad? Que <ríe> después van a decir, hey, la clase de aquel, de aquel profe parecía como que era de alcohólico anónimo. <ríe> o sea, porque dije eso, person on sharing, sí, pero, ajá. Ok, Joaquín, tell me. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, bienvenido good evening. a la... Ya um, deje los vicios. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> what is something that makes you happy? Uh, there is, there are many things to make me happy. For example, celebrate each birthday with my family. Um, we we get. Um, we get we get you used to celebrate when 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 the the when each member of my family uh, per, uh, birthday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and uh, for example uh, celebrate uh, our wedding anniversary with my wife and um and to uh to go what to the world um, and there is many Mary, there is there there are many things to make me happy Okay, but we can say that in general, what makes you happy are celebrations. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because I, I, I could, I could tell, like you know, I love to, go, I love to go uh, to a restaurant with my family. Okay. Stay, um, eating <laughs> with with them. Yeah, and being served, you know, and having people at you. Yes. <laughs> so good. Very good. Yeah, that sounds like a really, really nice idea. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing, Joaquin. Now, okay. tell us, Joaquin, who's going to be the next person on sharing this evening? Walter Ramos. Okay, Walter. <laughs> what is something that makes you happy, Walter? Uh, good evening, guys. Good evening. Uh, there are many things make me happy, but there are one in particular make me so happy. Is For example, I don't know if the phrase is correct, it's right. For example, it's myself, it's myself. Mm -hmm. It's like alone, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to stay alone or with myself. I don't know. Um, enjoy stay alone um, because I avoid to hear uh, a lot of noise in my house. Sometimes <laughs> when that situation happens, um, I don't know, enjoy, for example, cook, cooking popcorn. Uh, rest down in my couch and watch some movies. I don't know. I feel so excited. Okay. Like action movies, romantic movies. Even though I like that situation, stay alone because I don't know. Um, hate when my wife is calling me for something in my house. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ya le vamos a decir, ya le vamos a decir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ya, van a ver, ya van a ver una I chancleta like so volando much. ahí por yeah. detrás. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, I mean, I can, yeah. I can say the same, you know. Um, in my case, I spent a lot of time alone when I was young. After my mom passed, <laughs> I uh, i mean, my dad was almost always working. So I was almost um, always alone. So 
I got used to that, you know, I got used to having the house for myself for, for, for a long time. And uh, yeah, I remember that now that I have grown, now that I have, uh, um, exacto, el video le vamos a mandar a, a la esposa de Walter. <laughs> now that we, uh, th sorry, now that I have grown, I have become older and I cook a little bit better. That is something that I enjoy. Uh, you said you, you make popcorn, that that's something that you enjoy. But in my case, I enjoy cooking. Like when I'm by myself, <laughs> I make the best meals because it's only for me. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's funny because uh, when my sister or someone in my family comes home, they find that I have four, three or uh, five pans, you know, that I have used. And uh, it's only because I wanted to cook something good for me. So like whenever I know that I'm going to be by myself, because that is not something very common lately, you know, after the pandemic, all the things that happened and all that, there's almost always someone uh, here at home. Um, I almost never have, you know, that alone time. But when I have it, I make sure that I enjoy it. And it's basically the same. I don't like being in the couch because in San Miguel is very hot. Um, so I prefer the hammock. <laughs> sí, prefiero mucho la maca, yeah, it's good, it's terrible. Good. yeah, so, but yeah. I make like some lemonade if I can. I buy some lemonade because I love lemonade. I, I make or, or buy lemonade and just enjoy it. The, the yeah. time that I enjoy the most when I can be by myself and I enjoy it like top notch is when there is Champions League um, games <laughs> that are important. When, when Barca yeah. is playing and it's like a, like a, <laughs> like a quarterfinal, semifinal, yeah. I don't like to be with anyone like i'd rather be by myself because that way i can gel the at the top yeah. of my lungs and destroy yeah. my throat and just <laughs> go, go crazy so yeah por ejemplo solo para contarles el, el día no sé si los que saben alguna vez han, les ha gustado el fútbol verdad eh, cuando el barça tuvo la remontada contra el Paris saint germain de ese 6 a 2 o 6 a 6, 6, 6 a algo um, estaba solo ese día yo, o sea, me volví loco, o sea, completamente, estaba solito en mi casa, así que yo esa cosa la disfruté como nunca, como si estaba yo en el estadio. <laughs> so yeah, that's, those are the, the best times when I like to be alone. Ahí se ve con los que son más o menos del Barça, ya Alejandro. Diciendo, yeah, sí, yeah. Alejandro, <laughs> yo también. <Yeah. laughs> ok. I think uh, I spend a lot of time with my family, but like a husband i need to pause in your life and breathe and yes. breathe and enjoy and stay alone yeah yeah i can tell i can understand yeah. totally yeah. understand that yeah okay. <laughs> yes sorry Janet. you are of my team walter yeah the yeah. team el team, el team being by by oneself yeah. very nice yeah. okay walter who's going to be the next um And Jacqueline Stephanie. Okay, Jacqueline. <laughs> Jacqueline también es del Barça, dice. Yeah. No, no, yo no. A la alianza le va. Feo. Okay, Jacqueline, teacher, tell us. What is something I that enjoy, makes you feel happy? I enjoy cook, teacher. I love cook. I enjoy cooking. Very much, much comida. Mm -hmm. and, and share time with my family. All yes, right. Yes. Very nice. It's almost the same for me. I didn't know how much I enjoyed cooking. You know, back in the day when I was younger, as I said, one of the things that I almost never got right was rice. Making rice was a challenge for me. O sea, el arroz me quedaba pastoso, yeah. me quedaba horrible. A mí es lo que mejor me queda. O sea, o sea, pasen receta. <laughs> But yeah, es que for... sabe dónde está la clave, teacher. Uh -huh. Yo lo descubrí. Ajá. A mí me enseñó a hacer arroz mi papá. Ajá. Entonces, decía, si usted cose un, una taza de arroz, échale dos de agua y eso le va a quedar espectacular. Okay. Y funciona, dicho. También que... que cuando empiece el primer hervor, usted le baja el, la, la, el, el fuego Ajá. y él tiene que cocerse despacio. Despacito. O sea. Sí, no, o sea, a, mí, a mí así me gusta, va. Yo, sí lo, yo así lo hago, el arroz. Pero vaya, la cosa es que yo tengo varias cosas con el arroz. A mí el arroz precocido casi no me gusta. Y no me no, gusta mami. porque yo no lo puedo cocinar bien. So, my favorite type of rice is white rice. Sí, el arroz blanco. Right. La forma que yo descubrí para hacerlo, para que no me quedara mal, es con una pressure cooker. O sea, con una, no. con una cacerola de presión. Sí. Excelente. Entonces, o sea, 
uh, digamos, dos, como usted bien dijo, yo solo hago media taza más, ¿sí? O sea, una taza de arroz, taza y media de agua. Tres minutos en el hervor hasta que empiece a hacer el ruido del pressure cooker, lo uh -huh. apago, lo dejo ahí, diez minutos más tarde regreso y el arroz está se manifink. Yeah, Entonces, yeah. Sí. yeah, one of my favorite recipes is chicken tikka masala that is um, Indian. So I enjoy having tikka masala, spicy tikka masala with white rice. Eso es como una cosa que a mí me encanta. I also enjoy making chicken alfredo or many kinds of chicken. I like chicken. So yeah, it's like now that I have discovered how to make rice, it has made my life so much better. And I enjoy cooking I'm, even. I'm a specialist cooking maruchan. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> sí, mi es un reto, es un reto sí, porque es un reto. a gente que no le queda. Si sí, mi hermana escuchara eso, dijera, ah, como tu novia. <laughs> Pero hasta para hacer eso es, es, es medido, piche. Sí, hay que saber sí. cuándo bajar el agua. Si nos... Sí, pero a mí hasta el agua se me quema. Se me evapora. Así dice Patricia, ¿verdad que, verdad que hay, hay, hay técnica, verdad, Patricia? Sí. sí, se requiere <risa> conocimiento. Ok. <risa> nice. Una precisión se necesita. Sí, en el momento exacto en el que se coloca el agua y poner el timer para los tres minutos. You have exacto. to be very exacto. <risa> Ahí me queda el agua, pero perfecta para la maruchan. ¿Verdad? Sí. <risa> Yo pasé, pasé 15 años practicando con un chef chino para saber cómo quedar el agua perfecta para la maruchan. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, who's going to be the next? Sandra. Okay, Sandra. Y Sandra pensando, yo okay, que no me iban a dar chance hoy. <laughs> okay, Sandra, tell us. Okay, what makes me happy is yes. to be in the presence of God and worship Him. Wow. Um, yes, be, before, um, when I was younger, I, I thought that we could sing only in Spanish for him. <laughs> but someone gave me um, a cassette of, mm -hmm. of uh, many of many songs, um, gospel songs. Gospel songs, yeah. And then I began singing, I mean in English. <laughs> uh, well, but uh, there is another thing that, I, that makes me happy is uh, when we go to church, <clears throat> uh, we usually go Uh, after after church we go uh, with people who never um ha who never have the opportunity to to go out you know mm -hmm. and and i feel happy when they are happy and, and i like to say so many jokes so they can feel happy <laughs> all right yeah i kind of can tell you know i kind of can tell you're a little bit talkative <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's always nice to share with people. And now that you mentioned that, you know, hearing gospel in English is so different. Um, during my stay in the U.S., I had yeah. to move. I had to live with two different families. The first six months was with a semi-Latino family because the mom was Peruvian, the dad was American. I was more into sports. Like that family was really into sports. The thing that I was doing the most was going to games, going to the stadium, going to see games, play games. So that was what I did during the first six months. When I had to move, when I went to the second house, that family was a little bit more religious. So we <clears> would go to church almost every Sunday. Not every Sunday because some Sundays they were busy. Some Sundays I was too tired. But we will go to church almost every Sunday. And oh. since the first time, I remember how much I loved singing, not singing because I didn't know the, 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 the lyrics, but at least listening to the gospel. It was just okay. so cool. Plus the church in, in the U.S., I mean, it had um, air conditioning, so it was, it was oh, totally okay. different. Yeah. But I remember how it felt, and it was just so cool because it was all dark. Porque aquí, yo siento que aquí como que... Se tiene miedo a veces en las iglesias, las iglesias siento yo, ¿verdad? Que casi siempre se trata de hacer lo más blancas que se puedan. Y a mí, personalmente, no me gusta mucho. O sea, lo del brillo así y todo, ¿verdad? A mí no me gusta. A veces yo prefiero estar con la luz apagada. O sea, por ejemplo, para mí, para dar clases, cuando yo termino de dar clases, yo apago todas las luces. A veces lo malo es que me duermo antes de subir los videos, pero, o sea, a mí no me gusta mucho la luz. En sí, de verdad me ha pasado. 
mi hermana después me levanta, ¡Ey, tú subiste el video! Entonces, pero, <risa> este, <risa> por eso me toca pasar la mitad del pago a ella al final. Este, pero el detalle <risa> es que la iglesia esa donde yo iba, eh, era oscura. Y, o sea, les juro que yo eso lo sentía tan genial porque era como que lo único brillante era el altar. Entonces, ah. y, y las luces, ¿verdad? De, de la iglesia o cuando estaba eh, la, la banda tocando. Entonces, ah. eh, sí hubo acti actividades, había actividades cuando encendía las luces, pero lo, por lo general las luces estaban apagadas y se sentía tanta paz, o sea, yo al menos me sentía así, porque era como ah. que con la luz, cuando hay luz, al menos yo soy bien distraído, o sea, yo vuelvo a ver para todos lados y estoy así, yo voy a la iglesia y, o sea, personalmente me cuesta mucho a veces concentrarme. Entonces, en esa iglesia, así con todo oscuro, pues no tenía nada para dónde ver, solamente concentrarme, ¿verdad?, en lo que estaba. Entonces, Gracias. eso sí era algo que a mí, a mí personalmente, me encantó. Entonces, si yo tuviese la oportunidad, yo regresaría, la verdad, a, a esa iglesia, porque sí, era, era bien, bien, bien genial. En the gospel, as you mentioned, was just top notch again. again. So, yeah. Yes. Well, but there is another thing that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. When I cook a Peruvian rice, And my, and my stepsons come and mm -hmm. they eat and they are happy eating. I like to see when they, when they are enjoying the meal, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, okay, Sandra. So we still have a couple people left. Um, who is going to be the next person on, on participating? We still have Miguel, Roberto, Rosa Miguel. Maria. Okay, Miguel. Miguel. Miguel, go ahead, please. What is something that makes you happy, Miguel? Well, uh, I am happy when when I eat and when I cook. Okay. I love the food, really. Yeah, I love it the the cooking food and of course eating <laughs> the food. And I like it so much because I I cooking with my family. Uh, usually, I cooking with my mom or with my little sister. I I like it to prepare uh, a postre, postries. Yeah, mm -hmm. repostería yes. is poultry, right? Oh, pastry, past, pastry, 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 yeah, pastry, pastry, okay, pastry, uh, usually prepare pastry or pizza <coughs> or uh, things a little bit different, uh, of, uh, for example, uh, yesterday I prepared uh, ribs, uh, the barbecue, barbecue or uh, in uh, over, mm. yeah, uh, it's a little bit different, uh, Food, but I, I like uh, this type of food. Yeah. I prepare, I cook in pizza, uh, uh, wigs. Mm -hmm. uh, today I prepare, oh, well, I cook uh, <gasps> meat. <gasps> Who can? Mm -hmm. can? Yeah, it's, this is past. True. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. cooking and eating is just a very good activity. I can share that idea with you totally. I think everyone here can share that idea with you. But okay, uh, Miguel, who is going to be the next person? Uh, and I don't know who. Okay, uh, who so the, per, the people who are left are Roberto, yeah. Rosa Maria, Carlos, uh, Martha, and Daniel. Daniel, you can do it. Okay, Daniel, what is something that Hello. makes you Good happy? Evening. Good evening. Well, I think there are many things that I could make me happy. One of them is my family, my daughter, and then is the love what I have for uh, uh, for all art, drawing, designing, creating, mm -hmm. and I love cooking too. Um, I love the music because I am melomaniac, mm -hmm. and above all, my peace. My solitude um, being of simple things, I, I enjoy a lot of solitude. All right. So you are also in the team of Janet and Walter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you guys can be alone together, you know? <laughs> a big party. Yeah, you guys can be alone together. Have you, have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of that phrase, being alone together? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado eso? El, el estar solos juntos? Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the thing that happens is like you go to a gran paradoja. Yeah, you go to a place, yeah. you go to a place, you meet with people, but nobody bothers you. You know, o sea, es como que están en una casa, dos, tres personas, uh, y no se molestan, no se dicen nada. O sea, es básicamente estar solos juntos. You know, you are alone together. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's as you as you mentioned, that's a paradox. So it's not like um uh, the most accustomed thing, the most um uh, fun thing to do if you like to be alone. Because if you like to be alone, it's like alone you are. Okay. <clears throat> um Daniel, who would you would like to participate next? Would you like? Sorry. Tienes falta? Um, Rosa Maria, we still have uh, Carlos, uh, Martha, and uh, da, 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 Roberto. Roberto Donay. Rosa. Okay, Rosa Maria. What is one thing that makes you happy? Okay, um, in my case made me happy be at home, but also um, I like go to the park with my family. And I love it. I love when with my sister watch the series. And <coughs> only that. Okay. So going to the park, being with your family, and also watching series with the sister. That is, those yeah. are some yeah. very good activities, you know, very, very nice activities. Nice. Thank you, Rosa Maria. Now, who would you like You're to right. hear from? Next, um, we have Roberto, Carlos, and Martha. Uh, Roberto. All right, so Roberto, tell us, what is one thing that makes you happy? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, makes me happy uh, football, watch and play. I'm, I'm really a football lover. Okay, very <laughs> good. Do you have a favorite team? Yeah. yeah. In, in El Salvador, Alianza. <laughs> okay, nice. G lucky you guys, because you have been winning a lot. <laughs> Aquel día me mandaron todo triste del estadio. Pero bueno, ya que. <laughs> todo mojado y triste venía yo de regreso. Porque no llovió. <laughs> Tantas veces que iba a ver a la Aguila y nunca ganan cuando yo voy. Siempre cuando yo no voy, ganan. Cuando yo voy, nunca han ganado una sola vez. Desgracia. Me, sí. me pasó muchas veces. Sí, por eso ya no voy, ya no voy a volver a ir. <laughs> Eso digo cada año, ya no vuelvo a ir. Y luego llega la final. Ahí, y ahí va Oscar para el, para el estadio. <ríe> bueno, ok, nice. So, el Alianza. Yeah, nice, nice experience, you know, being Aliancista these days because you guys win almost every final. So, good, very good. And also, watching soccer, having, having a game of soccer or playing soccer is uh, very nice because you are entertained. So, very good. Thank you, Roberto, for sharing. Who would you like to participate next? Uh, we still have Carlos and Marta Ruth. Uh, Carlos. Okay. Carlos Gonzalez, tell us, what is something that makes you happy? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I have two things that make me happy. Mm. One uh, is uh, spending time with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy that a lot, uh, especially when, when I came uh, from my work. Uh, I see the soups with my with my mother. <laughs> I, I don't like soups, but she 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 watch them. Mm -hmm. She watch it, and well, I I see the the, the, the soups and talking with, with with her, and also my father is to see the 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 television the, the TV with with us, uh, and the other. Thing uh, that made me happy is my PlayStation. I spend a lot of time <laughs> playing games, mm -hmm. and I think that is the best uh, best that I, uh, that I have done in my life. Do you have the PS5 <laughs> or PS4? Uh, PS4. I have. I, I I haven't found the the place uh, PlayStation Five. Yeah. Uh, with uh, with with cheap because uh, the the prices in yeah, here in El Salvador, also in the United States, are around for eight hundred, I think, yeah, nine hundred. Too high. And I want to buy it by five hundred or four hundred. El precio del cuatro. Yes. Yo lo compré cuando valía doscientos. <laughs> Justo anoche, <laughs> sí, en, en cómo se llama, en un Black Friday lo compré. Pero bueno, justo anoche, ¿saben? Justo anoche, cuando estaba en la clase con ustedes, de hecho pensé, hmm, creo que hoy voy a tener energías, voy a jugar cuando termine la clase. Tengo tanto tiempo que no juego play, entonces sí, anoche pensé, voy a jugar un rato hoy. O sea, porque hoy no tenía mucho trabajo, tenía que irme tarde para el trabajo en la U, así que creí que iba a tener chance de jugar. 
pero no. Después ni me acuerdo qué me puse a hacer cuando terminó la clase. Creo que no había cenado, creo. La clase de las 10. Entonces creo que cené, después me puse a subir los videos y otra vez me dormí. Así que ya, yeah, I, I didn't play. I, I hope to find it in Black Friday uh, this year, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, but the PS5 here in El Salvador is too expensive. Like if you no, have a, if you, yeah, if you have a way of bringing it from the US, that will yes. be way better because I, here I it's find way it. too expensive. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do the same, you know. I want to get a PS5 because of the new games that are coming out, but yeah, I'm I'm still a little bit broke, but we're going to get there. Okay, <laughs> Carlos. Now, the next person of course is going to be Martha. So, Martha, would you mind sharing with us what is something that makes you happy? Hi everyone. Uh, thing that made me happy is organizing. I think because I really love it and I really enjoy organizing things because I need to know where the things are. <laughs> All right. And uh, mm -hmm, uh, and also I'm so happy when I come back to my city uh, that is Ilovasco. Okay. After a, lo a long week in San Salvador. And that's because my sister wait for me and sometimes we cook together. Okay. And that's it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Organizing is something that I will need help with, according to my sister, bigger sister, mm -hmm. because she's the one that organizes my room. Um, so, yeah, I think I will need some classes <laughs> from you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's great. You know, everybody has a niche. Everybody has that thing that makes them feel happy, that makes them yeah. uh, enjoy life. In my case, I honestly have to say <laughs> that the thing that makes me ha the happiest in the last couple of months, I mean, I, I changed, you know, we all have those, those things that change. But I think the thing that makes me the happiest in the last couple of months is listening to salsa uh while I, i'm driving by myself like when i go to work because el carro de la casa no es mío okay just just for starters it's it's my dad uh -huh. so when i have the chance to drive it uh to work and i play salsa uh -huh. in in the car i enjoy it so much and i don't know why but that makes me feel just so good uh -huh. um but yeah that's that's my thing but anyway Uh, cabal, como hizo el, el, la señora Miguel, o sea, manejando y casi como que queriendo tocar el ritmo de la salsa. No sé por qué. Al otro día incluso venía al aeropuerto de, 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 de hacer un mandado para una tía, me venía durmiendo, puse salsa y me desperté. O sea, como que me, me volví. Venía bailando. Sí, me volví a llenar de, de emoción. Así que, ya, yeah, I mean, listening to salsa makes me happy. Uh, but why I'm, why I'm, I'm like in the car? Because. If I'm like uh, riding the bus or something like that, I'd rather listen to rock or something different. But on the car, or in, I'm sorry, in the car, in the car, it's salsa, the one that brings me joy. Okay, so guys, uh, this, as I mentioned earlier, there is not much for us to work on this evening. Um, and yes, Jerry Rivera is one of the best options. Um, I just wanted to mention this couple of phrasal verbs or three word phrasal verbs that I consider to be important. These were not necessarily included in the material on the platform. Um, but we have, for example, the first one is look down on, look down on. Then we have get away from, get away from. Then we have live up to, live up to, get away with, get away with, and look up to. Um, I would like to know, do you have any idea of the meaning for any of these phrasal verbs? Any of them does ring a bell or have you ever used it? Have you ever seen it written before? I think look up is okay. like a investigate. I don't know. Look up is investigating. Sir, yes. yes. Look up yeah. is investigating. Get away from. Uh huh. Get away buscar. From. Uh, Yes, get away from es alejarse, o sea, get away from es como cuando ponemos terreno de, 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 o tiempo eh, en, en, entre medio, sí, get away from. Ahora, look up exact, exactamente significa buscar, pero look up to, sí, look up to es básicamente como admirar, sí. I look up oh. to someone, si yo tengo alguien a quien yo admiro, yo puedo decir I look up to you. Like, for example, in the That's university, true. I have one who used to be my teacher. Actually, today he visited my class. I don't know why, but like all of a sudden he was just there sitting. 
and he's super funny but he was just sitting there in, in in the middle of the class i was like dealing with like an activity that i had with the students and he started participating and he started telling me like hey you're the best teacher i've ever had yo como quien dijo eso o sea de la nada él empezó a decir verdad que era el mejor maestro que había tenido entonces si yo me quedé quién dijo eso o sea cuál cuál de ustedes fue y en eso me fijo que era él o sea justo el mejor maestro que yo he tenido entonces pero pero sí este that's nice. someone so I look nice. at yeah that was very nice of him because he's he's very very good um so yeah look up to eso significa verdad alguien a quien yo admiro uh, now get away from es alejarse Puede ser alejarse en cuestiones de terreno o también en cuestiones de tiempo. Get away from. Uh, uh, emotional is using or you can use get away from. Sorry? Uh, get away from you can use for alejarse o in a uh, emotional form or only uh, to... Yes. Yes, it's basically the same. Like you can tell someone, you, I think you, you need to get away from your issues at home. O sea, necesitas alejarte de, use, tus, de tus problemas, ¿verdad? En casa. You can, you can say it like that as well. You can say fly away from too, right? Yes, but however, fly away is more related to the, um, to the physical aspect, to the distance aspect. It is similar, but it has a more inclination towards the physical aspect, you know, like putting land when in you, between when you, you. When you separate from someone, Mm -hmm. For example, you flee away from someone. That flee means that away, you have you have gone to a different place. Uh, but fly away from is very similar. You know, you just put some land in between. O sea, solo nos alejamos de forma física. En cambio, en el, en el get away eh, from, específicamente, se refiere, ¿verdad? A eso, simplemente apartarse, o sea, poner ya sea terreno, poner espacio, poner tiempo eh, entre medio, ¿sí? Entre la situación y... Y uno mismo. Si es un problema que ustedes vean, o sea, una pelea, digamos, que está tomando lugar, ustedes le pueden decir a una de las dos partes, get away from here. Sí, o sea, como apártate de acá, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pues para poder cool down the thing. Ok, look down on. ¿Alguna idea de qué puede significar look down on? Look down on. It's fine. It's like a despreciar. Exactamente. Sí. Despreciar. Despreciar. De... Look down on. Es menospreciar. O, exa, ajá, más has apropiado menospreciar, pero ambos pueden ser utilizados ajá. dependiendo de lo, cómo nos hagan sentir. O sea, si yo me sentí despreciado, mm -hmm. I can say that person looked down on me. Sí. He or, or mm -hmm. she looked down on me. Me despreció, I me menospreció, like... me vio feo y ahora quiero llorar. Sí. Uh, so look down on. That person looked down on me. Or. You can tell someone who is not necessarily, you know, um, wealthy. You can tell that person, I'm never going to look down on you. Nunca te voy a menospreciar. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just, just sharing that idea with someone. Now, leave up to. Leave up to. Any idea of what leave up to means? Leave up to. Estar a la altura de... Exactamente. Live up to. Estar a la altura de, de, perdón. Estar a la altura de. Like, if you, if I have expectations for you, or if you had expectations for me, I am expected to live up to those mm -hmm. expectations. You know, I am supposed to live up to those expectations. So, um, mm -hmm. live up to means... Igualar, teacher. Hola. Igualar. También, sí, podría ser. Igualar en el caso específico, también como lo decía anteriormente, ya tenemos una, alguna expectativa, ¿verdad? Fijada, una idea de dónde se supone que va a llegar alguien. Entonces, el live up to, sí, es cal, cuando alguien ha igualado o incluso sobrepasado uh -huh. esa sobrepasado. expectativa. También, uh -huh. sí, el live up to. Entonces, básicamente se refiere a, a esa situación, ¿verdad? Cuando nosotros podemos... Eh, cumplir con las expectativas o incluso superar expectativas. Entonces, mm -hmm. igualar, mm -hmm. superar, basically in both uh, cases we can use live up to. Um, digamos que compramos un carrito viejito, ¿verdad? Y dijimos, no, eh, lo, lo compro ahorita para unos dos años, tres años, eh, voy a tratar de ahorrar para comprar uno mejor. Y el carro sale que nos duró siete años. I mean, it totally mm -hmm. live up to the expectations. Sí, o sea, completamente, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. El carro cumplió con las expectativas que teníamos y salió incluso hasta mejor el carrito. Ahora, el último de los, de los que son como nuevos, digamos, el get away with. Get away with. ¿Qué creen que significa? Escapar. 
escapar, librarse o salirse con la uh -huh. suya. Todas esas, esas tres eh, pueden ser, ¿verdad? Lo que viva dentro del significado de get away with. So yes, when you get away with something, es cuando se libran, ¿verdad? De algo. You were supposed to pay... En mi caso, ya les conté el otro día, me parece, de cuando me dio la enfermedad, cuando estaba en Estados Unidos, y la directora me iba a regañar, pero al final no me regañó. Entonces, I got away with that. Sí, o sea, yo básicamente uh -huh. me libré, ¿verdad? De esa regañada que me iban a dar. So that is uh -huh. get away with. Sí, get away with. Uh -huh. Ok, no significa irse con, ¿verdad? O sea, porque por eso les, 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 les aclaro que es diferente. El get away from es alejarse de, de algún lugar. Get away with, ya que el with significa con, no vamos a entender, ¿verdad? Que significa que me voy a ir con. O sea, y ahí voy a mencionar a alguien, ¿verdad? Vete con ah. él, ella. Ajá, no significa irme con. Ahora, sí puede, eh, dependiendo del contexto. Porque, por ejemplo, digamos... Uh, She stole that sticker. Vamos a ponerlo como pequeño, ¿verdad? That sticker. Uh, sorry, sticker. And they all saw her. Saw her. Still, she got away. Uh, she got away with it. See? ¿sí? Ella se robó ese, ese, eh, esa calcomonía y todos ellos la vieron. Igual o de igual forma, se salió con la suya. ¿sí? O de igual forma, se libró. So that's the context. Tenemos que hay alguien que ha hecho algo malo y utilizamos el get away with. Ahora, diferente. Um, she, let's say, wants to. She wants to get away with her father for some time. Her father for some time or for a time. For a time. ¿Sí? So she wants to get away with her father for a time. Eso significa que se quiere alejar con su padre. Okay? Pero el contexto nos deja entender verdad, que en sí es que se quiere ir con alguien. ¿Sí? No significa verdad, que se libró de su, su padre, que se liberó de su padre, sino que es que se quiere ir con alguien. Así que eso, esa es una de las situaciones, ¿verdad? Muy a menudo nos vamos a encontrar con eso, que es el contexto mismo, la oración misma, el momento que estemos viviendo o en el que estemos utilizando estas frases, que nos va a ayudar a entender cómo lo vamos a interpretar en el español. Eh, porque, pues, o sea, en inglés es bastante sencillo, digamos, cuando cuando ustedes prestan atención a ese tipo de detalles, ¿verdad? ¿A ¿Qué es lo que alguien dijo antes o después? O sea, porque si yo solo me baso en el get away y no presto atención al resto de la oración, yo puedo entender de una vez, ah, mira, una vez un teacher me dijo que get away significa, ¿verdad?, eh, librarse o escaparse de algo, salirse con la suya. Entonces, si yo digo get away, es que me voy a escapar de mi papá. O sea, si yo solo escucho get away y father, ya, ¿verdad?, de una salto a conclusiones. Pero si no presté atención al resto de la oración, muy probablemente tenga yo una idea errónea de lo que la oración misma está tratando de informar. Así que eso es algo bien importante, ¿verdad? El contexto, por eso muchas, muchas ocasiones uno como maestro pues menciona eso, ¿verdad? El contexto, prestar atención al contexto. El español es un idioma mucho más literal, o sea, lo que se dice casi siempre, eso es lo que se quiere decir, o sea, son contadas o tal vez en cuestiones sarcásticas, por ejemplo, puede ser cuando el contexto también tenga que ver o el tono en el cual la persona pronuncia las cosas tiene mucho que ver, pero en inglés eso de prestar atención a lo que se dice es algo bien, bien importante. Más que todo cuando estamos ¿verdad? en el proceso de empezar a aprender o a empezar a comunicarnos con personas de una comunidad específica. Así que es algo en lo que se debe tener cuidado. Bueno, esto era algo que quería que hiciéramos, pero eso lo vamos a hacer quizás en las últimas clases, porque esto es bastante, lo de la lectura. Es como les decía, un tema que me interesa que podamos practicar. Pero por ahora solo vamos a leer esto. Ahí vamos a cerrar la clase, ¿verdad? Mañana estaríamos practicando esta conversación. Y pues... Eh, para ya ir también cerrando esta, esta sección. So, I need a date. That is the title for this conversation. I need a date. Uh, in this conversation, we have James and Mike. Those are the two guys being part of it. And uh, here is how the conversation should go. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. 
But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating, dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups on the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, so that's the conversation. This guy, um, James, is totally desperate to have a date, to meet someone, to start dating with someone. But tomorrow, mañana vamos a seguir chambreando cerca de él, ¿verdad? Así que <laughs> recordarles, mañana tenemos clase, sí, mañana seguimos aquí. Es como siempre, cuando hay clase los viernes, sea repetición, sea culpa mía, sea culpa de, de otra cosa, eh, están oh, invitados no. a traer sus pupusas. Ok. Ok. Uh, dale, pupusas, dale. Así que mañana como pupusas. Nice. Okay, so um, thank you guys very much for being here. Thank yeah. you for your attention and participation. See you tomorrow. Yes, so hope you guys have an amazing night and see you tomorrow then. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.